I just finished snowboarding the five closest resorts to Las Vegas because we're trying to figure out which one is the best one to go to and which one you should avoid going to because nothing's worse than taking a couple days off to go snowboarding and the mountain sucks. The five resorts that we're gonna take you to are gonna be Lee Canyon Resort, Eagle Point Resort, Arizona Snow Bowl, Brian Head Resort, and we're gonna talk about Big Bear Resort. There's a couple different things that we're gonna look at to figure out which one is the best. We're gonna look at how long is the drive, how much do the lift tickets cost, what is their weights for the lift lines, how big is the mountain, and how much fun was it to board. The first resort that we're gonna take you to is gonna be Las Vegas' very own Lee Canyon Resort. It's a 45 minute drive from town. Now it is the smallest resort on our list today at just 195 acres to board. They have three lifts. They average about 130 inches of snow a year. How's the experience been so far for Oh my you? God. Exciting because we saw Avalanche. What the hell was that? Is it gonna be open later today? What time do you think? When the avalanche control is done, they're yeah. firing howitzers. Perfect, so thank you. All right, we just got done boarding at Lee Canyon Resort. Sam, what are your thoughts? Surprisingly amazing. Tickets, we did the Ride Local card, which was $89, and it was a discounted ticket of 39 bucks. If you don't do the Ride Local card, their lift tickets range from $66 to 77 bucks. When we got there, we got a couple rides in, but whoa, today's New Year's Eve, so it's a holiday on a Friday. It just snowed for the last three days. I imagine that's about as wow. busy as it gets. There's three lifts, all three lifts are open, but one was like a bunny lift, the other two take you up the actual mountain. Would you come back? Of course, only in the morning though. <laughs> yeah, morning and weekdays I think is where it's at. The next resort that we're gonna take you to is gonna be Eagle Point Resort in Beaver, Utah. It's about a four hour drive. They're three times the size of Lee Canyon Resort at 650 acres to snowboard. They have four lifts and they average about 350 inches of snow a year. Let's go check it out. Yeah. All right, we just got up here to Eagle Point. Woo. Crank that, hold on, there we go. This is a chill drive, easy to get to. There's two different lodges. They have a lodge that's higher up the mountain. I think that's the Skyline Lodge. And this was the Canyon Lodge. On average, the tickets range between $50 to $75 per ticket. All right, we're booted up. Let's go. So sick. There's a lot of snow, but it was actually really hard to find like a really nice, smooth, long ride. I think there's four or five lifts. There's two parts of the mountain. You can get a shuttle between the mountain. The finds weren't really bad. Like we maybe waited the longest, like five minutes. Yeah, so I felt like I spent more time on the lift than I did for Yeah, or, or walking. <laughs> we got off to do like the cat track, the outside, and we did quite a bit of walking to kind of get it going. And then we had some really good powder run, but then now it's more walking. Yeah, great day, super appreciative. I don't know that I'd come back though. Now we're headed to Arizona Snowball Resort. It's about a four hour drive. It's the largest resort of the five at 777 acres to snowboard. They have eight lifts, but they get a little bit less snow than the competition at only 260 inches a year. Let's go check it out. Right behind me is where we had to pick up our lift ticket for the first time. Something that was kind of cool was that for this first time, they give us a card towards we don't have to go and pick up tickets each time. We just reload it online. Lift tickets range between 49 to 180 bucks. Yo, major points for the gondola rides. I don't know why it's so cool, but it's cool. <laughs> That's the Heart Prairie lift. They said that there's more like easy, medium runs over there, which means just more people going slow. So we've just stayed on the other side of the mountain, which has been a blast. Ah. Yo, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Oh man, I mean, they haven't had any fresh pow pow for like, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 days. And it's fun rides. And Arizona Snowball has the longest run of all of the resorts that we've gone to, which is two miles from top to bottom. Yo, Arizona Snowball was sick. Would 100% come back. Conclusion on Snowball. Oh, it was epic. <laughs> Probably the fastest lifts from point A to point B and some of the best runs. Yeah. I don't know, Brian Head's got some competition now. Yeah. All right, now we're headed back to Utah to hit Brian Head Resort. It's about a three hour drive from Las Vegas. They're the same size as Eagle Point Resort, a little bit smaller than Snowball at 650 acres to snowboard, but they have eight lifts and they get the most snow of all the resorts at averaging 360 inches of snow a year. This has been Sam and I's favorite place to board for the last seven years. Let's go check it out. We're at the final resort, Brian Head Resort. All right. 
Here's Giant Steps Lodge. Lift tickets cost like 47 to 99 bucks. Short, fast runs with quick lifts right back up to the top. And it's just this fucking cycle of, you can just really get a lot in. We're here on a Wednesday, and there's been no lift in my hand. Huh? Sam's with me is Thursday. All right, let's talk about Big Bear Resort in California. This resort is four hours away. Their second smallest at 440 acres. Now they do have the most lifts surprisingly at 18 lifts, but they average the least amount of snow at about 100 inches per year. And we actually decided to not go to this resort for a couple reasons. One, it's where I learned how to snowboard. And after I started snowboarding in Utah, there's just no reason to go back towards California. There's more traffic, it costs more, there's longer lift line ways. It's the worst resort to go to out of the five closest to Las Vegas is Big Bear Resort. The number one resort after hitting all five is gonna be Snowball, Arizona. One, it had the longest run, two miles, which was just really fun. It means that you're on the lift less. The lifts that they had were very updated. They were fast, they were comfortable. It was the largest mountain, so there was the most to explore. And I think what it really came down to was Flagstaff, Arizona sits at the bottom of Snowball. And Flagstaff Flagstaff is just such a cool town. Like there's good food, places to check out, things to do. The second is gonna be a close tie between Brian Head Resort and Lee Canyon. And Lee Canyon is just so close when you live in Las Vegas. And I don't think I'll ever go back to Eagle Point Resort and you'll never catch me at Big Bear Resort. So, you know, 